in this session we will learn about the experimental mode of zeta experimental let us automate large learning process we will start with the introduction and then do a demonstration of experimenter so let's begin the experimenter enables you to set up large scale experiment start them running leave them and then come back and have them finished and analyze the performance statistics that have been collected they automate the experiment process the statistics can be stored in arff format and it allows the user to distribute the computation load across multiple machine using java rmi in the case we are going to do large scale computational work uh, this is the interface of experimenter uh, for demonstration we will compare the j 4 8 decision tree method uh, with the baseline method 1R so switch to VECA uh, to start the experimenter uh, we have three tags up there setup run and analyze to start an experiment we click on new in the setup tab uh, now uh, to store our results we need to define our result destination it can either be a ARFF or a .csv file after having selected our output file we will select our input file our data set we will be using weather data as input and then we need to select our algorithms which we want to use on our data so we'll select 1R and we'll be selecting J48 after we are done, th done with this we'll move to the run tab to actually run this experiment here we'll click on the start tab and we are done our, our result is stored in the output file which we mentioned uh, it was an ARFF file so we have opened it in uh, Weka only lot of parameters are saved in that file key data set key run key fold percentage correct percentage incorrect root mean square error etc etc uh, we can also analyze the result in way in experiment mode itself we switch to analyze tab and then we click on experiment okay so these are the two algorithm we perform our test uh, we have selected percentage correct as our comparison field specified all the parameters so we click on perform test and here we have the results so uh, these are the percentages of percentage correct uh, this we basically specified that uh, this algorithm was better than the baseline algorithm in case we have an asterisk then it was worse than the base algorithm Mo coming back to our presentation uh, we also had a, a column at the bottom you can see over here 100 zero zero. so basically this represents this, that the scheme was better than x number of uh, baseline schemes since we had only one baseline scheme so it was one in this case this is our final output so this brings us to the end of session so in this session we learn how do we use a experimenter and we performed a quick demonstration on it 
where we compare the J48 algorithm with one hour algorithm as base algorithm thank you